hey YouTubers, Mist here. So uh, somebody left a really nice comment on one of my videos uh, just recently reminding me of a video I made on my Shaman many years ago uh, talking through a fight in slow motion. So I thought what a good idea, maybe I should do a few more of those. Uh, so here's a slowed down fight against um, a Affliction Warlock and a Resto Shaman in twos. So I'm with Redmore, a hunter, he's a very very good hunter. We have a lot of fun together. Uh, and I thought I'd talk you through uh, the fight and show you the sorts of things that we do uh, and show you some of the mistakes that uh, we both make uh, and just some random number generator problems, RNG problems that you get as well. So although I focus the Shaman on this fight here, I need to save my Skull Bashes for the Warlock and I want to interrupt the right things. So fears at the right times is what I want to interrupt. So we're burning hard and what we try and do is we try and um, burn as quickly as we can and if we can get a win quick then great. So the hunter's got a trap, the shaman trinketed late, I dropped an instant cyclone but I wasn't quite quick enough and he dropped the link totem. The uh, hunter is uh, tasked with killing link in this comp because it's a waste of time me going over there. I've cloned again, um, I've interrupted the warlock there. Now we're trying to burn the Warlock down and uh, we get a, a scatter on the Shaman. We drop a trap but it just misses if you see that. So we've missed an opportunity there. Now that means that we're into a little bit of trouble and I expected the trap to land and I didn't see it land so what we decided to do was to cyclone the Warlock so we don't get any more damage into that and I'm saying to the uh, Hunter um, I'm going to clone uh, the shaman and see if I can't get it off if I don't get wind sheared. Luckily I got it off. I interrupted that fear and I think if I hadn't have interrupted that fear we would probably have lost the game. So at this point here and um, we're both pretty low and uh, with that howl of terror uh, and drain life the warlock manages to get himself up even though the shaman is silenced all the way back up from 40% to 60-70% health which is incredible. So we've now got a full trap on the shaman so I need to work up really quickly to five combo points, ready for um, another clone. I interrupt that fear, got all my dots ticking. I go for um, a clone, but the hunter tells me, no, don't, I've got a short trap. So he scatters and short traps the shaman, which means that if necessary, then we can go for a clone. Now at this point, I'm sitting here thinking, shall I clone? Yep, go for a clone. And it's a, a clone on the shaman. The shaman hasn't got a trinket. Uh, the Warlock hasn't bothered using his trinket, I don't, don't think he's got anything he needed to use it for. Uh, my hunter tells me he's got um, a silence, so you can see a silence on the um, Shaman. Go for a short ferocious bite there, that means a non-5 combo point ferocious bite. And uh, we kill the Warlock. So at this point I'm still thinking, well we're pretty low, um, let's just be safe. So I'm going to pop Tranquility and I say to Redmore, can you disengage into the Tranquility, which he does like a boss. And uh, you can see that at that point the Shaman realises really no point. And um, I get a full re-stealth and the Shaman thinks, ah, damn, we've lost. And he leaves the game. That's it. Cheers, guys. Bye.